This is the Road to the Kentucky Derby, presented by Woodford Reserve. I'm here with two-time Eclipse Award winning trainer Brad Cox, who's got two horses in Saturday's Risen Star at Fairgrounds. And Brad, let's start with Tawny Poor, two for two at Turfway, but that's a synthetic track here. Why the decision to bring him to Fairgrounds? Well, you know, put him on the derby trail. He's done enough uh, to give us, give himself an opportunity to give it a shot. Uh, I do think he'll like a mile and an eighth. Uh, he's got a big stride. He's a big, good-looking colt, expensive yearling. Uh, it take us a little while to get him to the races, but once he's Got, he's made it, he's done everything right, and uh, looking forward to giving him an opportunity on Saturday. What went into the decision to start him at Turfway and then bring him here? It's where he was at the time, and uh, just kind of thought we'd get him started there, um, and, and it worked out. And then I thought about bringing him down for a second start. I thought, you know, let's not change up too much. I, I don't like changing too much from first start to second start, if we can keep from it. Um, John Fort, obviously, um, was good with the decision to, to give him one more start there. Um, I was pretty confident the race would go. Uh, it worked out, it ran well, and hopefully uh, received a good figure out of that race too. So hopefully if he can move forward again, he'll be, he'll be competitive. Do you have any expectations going into Saturday with this horse? Yeah, yeah, he needs, I mean, once again, he needs to step up as well as the other Colt. Um, but, you know, I think, uh, I, you know, I'm hopefully like the mile and an eighth, and he covers a lot of ground with this stride. Let's talk about the other horse, Bodock, who has not been two turns as of yet, <laughs> but he is a perfect two for two. Expectations for him? I think he'll like the ground. He's a full of hints, uh, which was a horse that made a lot of money around two turns. Uh, he's, you know, he, he's he's got plenty of leg underneath him. He's a good sized horse. Um, does everything right. I think he's still probably a little bit immature mentally, which most of them are at this stage. Um, you know, he's it, it is a big ask. It's three quarters to a mile, mile and an eighth. But uh, you know, if the pedigree comes out and gets a good trip, he could be a factor. And speaking of a good trip, I would think coming out of the sprints, he would be forwardly placed. Yeah, forward. I'm not necessarily think no, he'd be on the lead, but probably somewhat close. All right, that's Brad Cox, the uh, trainer of two horses in the Risen Star there, Tawny Port and Bodock, coming up on Saturday here at the fairground.